hi guys welcome to another video today's video will just be a easy everyday look using more expensive products and with a combination of affordable products you know showing you all that these affordable products do work they do get the job done you know you don't have to spend a lot of money to and i think the only really high-end product I used today now that I'm thinking about it was the foundation and only because I feel like it's very skin like and that's the look I was going for today other than that I probably would have found a drugstore foundation that I could have used but I think I got one in mind now that I'm thinking about it okay stop talking Nana make sure you like comment and subscribe and we're on to the video bye guys <laughs> Okay guys, you all know that I had to do a voiceover for this part because you all have seen me do this a million times. Okay, so I'm just using my Absolute New York uh, Super Slim Brow Pencil and this is in the shade Espresso. So I'm kind of like just um, tracing underneath my brow and then I'll do the top and then I'll fill it in. Just keeping it real natural, not creating more brow than what I have naturally just following a natural um miss of my brow <laughs> then i'll take some of this la girl fine concealer and i use that to highlight or just basically clean up the brow i like when i see uh people with uh very fluffy brows or very pronounced brows i love that look i just don't know how to accomplish it but we'll get there sooner and then later Okay guys, I have no idea what look I'm going for, but I'm gonna take this Nicka K Autumn Spice Palette from the Beauty Supply Store, and I'm gonna use the dark brown at the bottom in my crease, in my, well I mix it too. I'm gonna mix the orange and the brown at the bottom. And we're gonna put that in the crease and all of that good stuff. I saw this palette and I'm like, hmm, you haven't picked that up in a while. You know, these are my favorite shades. That's probably why I love the Kohler Months uh, so much because, you know, Kohler Months tend to be darker colors. You tend to see a lot of the browns, the orange, the dark greens, and mustard colors. I still like summer too, but I prefer winter. It's a random Amazon brush too. I like to go, once I have placed the shadow, I like to go in circular motions around the edges to kind of like feather it out or just so it's not, it doesn't look like so precise. That's what it is. I don't like my shadows to look precise. And see, this palette is $2.98, so you can't beat that. And for this pigment, this is like one of my Jackie, um, not Jackie, um, yeah, Jacqueline Hill palette with the new shades that I love. Just make sure you get that crease, I mean, like by your nose. I know I tell y'all that all the time, but I just started remembering myself to make sure I get that area. And I like to 
pitch the top. Take just the dark shade, same brush, and put that right here in the outer V, just the dark brown shade to deepen it up some. Okay, see that? That looks really good. Hmm. Now, for the heck of it, since I have never used this palette and I saw that she was coming out with a new one that I'm tempted to buy, but why am I buying it if I'm not using it? So this is the Tasha Denona Mini Lila, Lila, L-I-L-A palette that I have had forever. And I'm going to take this, oh, this is purple. For whatever reason, I thought it was blue. Hmm. I'm still going to take it. The purple shade. But see, it looked blue in camera, huh? When I'm looking down at it, it's looking uh, purple. All right, that's fine. I know we're not big on color matching over here. We're not matchy matchy. So let's see if it'll pick up on my wet and wild brush. And I'm just putting it right here. Okay. My wet and wild blending brush. Yeah, it's looking blue. It look blue purple. It look blue something. Other brush, take my transition colors and reinforce them. Mm, what do I think? I need a little bit more on this side though. What's it? Yeah, this eye. I don't know if it's purple or if it's blue. Either way, it's pretty. Okay. I'm just going to show y'all the liner that I have been using that I found in my stash. It's this... Um, well, this is when it was Kat Von D. So I don't know if they still sell it like this because, you know, it's KVD now. But it was the Tattoo Liner in Trooper Black. And I don't know if this is a sample size or whatever. I found it in my stash and it is like so pigmented. I keep meaning to look online and see if they sell something similar to this. Let me just do one eye to show y'all how pigmented it is. And hopefully you can see. So, hmm. But I just, I don't know what I do. This is what I do. <laughs> I'll just show y'all versus telling y'all what I do. Because if I tell y'all, it'll be wrong. And that's what I do. <laughs> Let me do the other eye because it's not going to come out like this one. And for a primer today, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Cookies and Dream as usual. That is nothing new at all. Then I'll use my Wet n Wild Impossible to further conceal my pores, I should say, or fill in my pores. And just, it mattifies without being dry. This Wet n Wild Impossible is 
100% good and so as well as the elf cookies and dreams so those two together so now I found another combination because I know I'm used to using the elf cookies and dreams and the elf power grip so now I use the wet and wild impossible and the elf cookies and dream so okay guys don't ask me where I get this from I just tried it the other day liked it and we're here today so I'm taking this Ruby Kisses cream foundation in the shade 15 I brought this to do my wigs with and I was like before I do that let me try it on my face because I never tried on my face so I'm gonna take the lighter shade and conceal underneath my eyes I was like nobody use this on their face they use it you know to do wigs and stuff and I was like what's wrong with it that they don't use it on their face and I used it the other day and I didn't have a problem with it as you can see I'm gonna do it around my mouth and this is just a brush little brush from Shein So this is basically my method of color correcting. <laughs> Cause y'all know I don't like to color correct. So this is the closest I'm gonna get to that. And as you can see, the coverage is there on this. I thought it was a concealer, but it's a foundation. Then I took my Lancome, the new one, the Care and Glow in the shade 510N. And we're going to put that on the other areas of my face. I'm pumping on the back of my hand. So I just took three pumps because we don't need that much. And I always have a foundation brush. And then I lose it. No, no, you don't lose it. It's just dirty. Okay, it's a difference. So then I'll put that right here. forehead and get the blender I like the smell of this uh, foundation. Some reviews say the foundation, the scent is overwhelming, but to me, I like it. I'll just wear it like that, so. Okay, so, you know, it doesn't take much to blend this foundation in at all, at all. Okay, that's it. Then, I'm not highlighting with another concealer. I'm just gonna take my Morphe powder in Banana Rich to set underneath my eyes, any place that I normally would highlight with a little fluffy brush. I'm just gonna use this to basically give me a subtle highlight. Then for blush, bronzer, all of that, I found my BH Cosmetic Cho Chocolate Marshmallow Truffle for color blush palette. So I'm taking 
this shade and that's the shimmer so no so just mixing it the bottom two shades to give me some blush and bronzer and all of that I don't know when I got into blush again. Next, I picked up the Ruby Kisses Matte Foundation in the shade 13. And this is Honey Brown from the Beauty Supply Store also. So I'm going to use that to set the remainder of my face. As you can see, I guess the whole point of this video was I didn't use a lot of high-end stuff. I didn't use a lot of stuff, a lot of beauty supply drugstore stuff like I just mixed them and you can still get a, a really good look I guess the point is to say that you know beauty supply store and drugstore products they work too they work <laughs> they really do I want something on my lower lash line, so I'm going to take that brown shade and kind of smoke it out, even though it might not really pop because it's not that dark. But that's just so, yeah, so it's not, my eyes aren't like that naked at the bottom. Okay, and then spray my face. So one thing that I can say that I have been consistent with using over the last month or two months is these two items. <laughs> like if y'all haven't seen these in my videos then you're really not watching my videos because it seems like that's the only thing I use. Lip products is what I tend to get stuck on all the time, right? I do, like all the time. I'm going to take this Stiletto Makeup Revolution lip liner because it's not that deep of a brown. It's an okay brown. It's not that deep. It just looks like my natural lip. Then let me get it. We'll take this is Milky uh, Milk and Cookies, the lip gloss I purchased the other day from Alta. Let's put that on the middle and see. It doesn't. Oh, it's pretty. Well, Y'all know I'm gonna take my Sephora and my lashes. Go. I'm gonna do the outer edges. At least let me do that. Yeah, And that is it. Eyeshadow, of course, you know we got to catch, is it this one? Yeah. Now I look in the monitor and I see what needs to be further blended some more. But you know, I got a good mind too. I'm gonna take this Tasha Denona palette and take this matte light shade right here. And put that underneath my brow bone. Let me see what kind of look it gives me. It just opens up your eyes. Okay. 
and we done i'll be right back okay guys we are back this is the completed look as you can see it's a nice cute simple everyday wearable <laughs> look using a mixture of different products from high end to beauty supply to drugstore you can create a look this powder honey brown i don't feel like it's my exact uh, powder shade it gives me more of like a bronze look which I'm okay with y'all know I don't mind being bronze or darker I'm gonna look and see if I could get something just a little bit closer to let me see yeah it's I don't know to my skin tone but I would still keep this just in days for days that I want to be don't know me that I want to be bronzy I like this cream powder like this to the ruby kisses cream powder i like this to spot conceal to color correct i'm not quite sure if they have this in an orange shade which i probably won't pick up but the next time because i just remembered the other day i use the darker one to contour with so the next time i do this look i'll show you guys how i use that to contour with but this is a really good for 3.99 Y'all saw me use the foundation before, nothing new. This uh, Tosh, Natasha Denona, I'll still be up in the air of whether or not I'm going to purchase the new one. Only because I've had this one for so long and never used it to, I'm like trying to be real conscious of how I spend my money on makeup now. But yeah, we'll continue to play with this one. You all have seen me use my beauty supply store, Ruby Kisses, um, or Nikki K eyeshadow palettes before. Y'all know I love these. If you can get them in a beauty supply store, $2.98, like you can create an eye look. You don't have to have like the most expensive palette. Like see, I could buy these two. Real cheap, real expensive, and got a look. So either way, if I could find that, if I had that, like blue purple shade in this palette i just oh and it looked like i just found one too and i have i pulled this out it's really not that similar nika k birthday cake let me see and i was thinking that blue right there they're similar let me bring it down so yeah they were similar oh well we'll try that next time yeah so this is the look i was able to come up with so always drop down and let me know what new products you have found or what affordable products you know that works really well that you don't have to go out and spend a lot of money on the high end part of it always you know always and my eyebrows y'all saw me use an absolute new york pencil in the beginning and then i went in with this oma beauty that i picked up the other day from walmart per one of my subscribers in the shade eight this i feel like is a really good pencil really 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 good pencil but i have to be like light-handed with it because it is dark so this is eight so i'll try number seven and see if that's just a tad bit lighter but as you can see my eyebrows are fluffy not not too much going on with them y'all know i don't really know too much about eyebrows now i'm trying to make it work the best way i know how just give me a little natural brow and i'm good and yeah that's it so until next time make sure you like comment and subscribe bye guys